In this video, we're going to take a look at a website called Quizlet. This is a study slash learning tool that students can use in a class. A teacher can essentially create digital flashcards, which can be used in a variety of ways with students to prepare for a quiz or test or other activity. First, let's look at what Quizlet can do for students. In this demonstration, we're going to view one student's screen, and the goal of this particular activity is for students to match world capitals with countries. In the teacher version, the teacher can create any type of matching material that they would like to use for their class. In this example, we can see in the center what student one would basically see. The other two pieces here would be essentially this student's group members and their own screens. In this particular example, you can see that the capital has been listed here at the top, Cairo. The available matches within this set are then displayed on all of the student screens. However, each student has their own set of possible answers. So this group has to effectively communicate with each other in terms of what they have on their screen and collectively determine whose screen contains the right answer. When they select the right answer, they move on to the next question. This team has earned a point, and now two points for correctly answering two questions in a row. As you can see, one student now selected the wrong answer. On this screen, they get to see what the correct answer actually is for that question. In this demo version, the students then begin again with zero points. And they can keep working until they get all 12 points in a row. When this is run on a class level, each group will be displayed on the front along with their total point status. So groups can stay competitive as they try to work toward a perfect solution. Now let's take a look at how you can get this going for yourself. To begin, we need to get into Quizlet.com. At this point, you can sign in with your Google account here at school. Once you set that up, you'll be brought to your home screen. From here, choose Create a Study Set here at the top. You can provide a title for your study set. You can provide a description for that study set here. From here, you can begin entering terms and definitions or any type of matching uh, in the areas here below. You can add images to each of the definitions by using the image button here on the right. You'll notice that it automatically does a search for the term that you've entered here on the left. With the free version, you cannot add your own voice recording. You would need to purchase a paid subscription in order to do that. Finally, you can also try to auto-define a particular item in your list using the magnifying glass here on the right. This will look for similar items that other Quizlet users have entered in their class sets. Once you're finished entering your matching terms, select Done. At this point, you're ready to begin with a live quiz or activity using Quizlet and your class. To do so, select the Live option here on the right. On the right-hand side again, you can choose Create Game for the current set that you're working with. Quizlet will produce a six-digit code that you can advertise to your students. And once at least six students have joined your quiz, the activity will begin.